Hello, welcome to Java Programming Tutorials, Chapter 18, Enum in Java, brought to you by Ankh Pro Technologies. My name is Harish. So in this session, we are going to learn about the Enum in Java. So Enum is a data type in Java. Enum contains a set of fixed constants. So if you want to define a set of fixed constants, then we can make use of the Enum. And how to define an enum? We can define an enum in two ways. One thing is you can define an enum inside the class, and other way is you can define the enum outside the class. So first, let me show you how to define an enum. It's very simple. So let me jump into Eclipse, and I have a project named Enum Demo. Let me open the class Print Java. So first, let me show you how to define an enum inside the class. So first, I need to call access modifier public. Then I need to call the enum keyword. So this is the enum keyword. Then I'm going to create a enum that is set of set con set of constants of the week. So, so first I'll tell like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'm creating these things. Okay, a enum of enum is a set of constants. So I'm creating a constants of the week okay so now how to call them it's very simple so I have to create a week variable w is equal to and I need to tell week dot okay Sunday so you can observe here I'll get intelligence when I press dot I'm getting all the things which are present inside that enum like okay, I need I need to access um, Sunday so I'll call that then now I'll make use of system dot out dot print ln so inside that I need to call that w which is having the value Sunday so now when I run this program you can observe here it's printing Sunday very clearly so if I try to call Monday obviously it comes so now again when I run the program it's printing Monday here so this is how you can define the enum inside the class or you can also define the enum okay outside the class if you want to define the enum outside the class what you need to do is just cut this piece of code and paste it here but make sure that you remove this public keyword so now again when I run the piece of code it's printing Monday so there are two ways like you can define inside the class and you can define outside the class both ways I've showed you right now so now suppose if you want to print or if you want to iterate this enum collection so at that point of time what we can do is okay we have to make use of for loop there so I need to tell like week yes okay week is uh, colon I'll call week then I need to make use of the values method present here so what is the advantage of using the values method here it's I'll tell you later like why we have to use this values method okay um, so I have to end up I have to call this call places. so now what I can do is I have to make use of system dot out dot print ln so here I'm going to pass yes okay which will be having all the values so now when I run this piece of code you can observe here it's printing all the things present inside the enum the collection so if you want to iterate the collection then you can make use of this for loop to do that work okay I hope you understood this so what is the purpose of uh, values method your I made use of it so keep in mind uh, the Java compiler what it does is it internally adds the values method okay when it creates a enum by default when I create a enum by default it adds a values method the values method returns what it returns is it returns an array containing all the values of the enum so I have to make use of value method which contains all the values of the enum so I can iterate it okay that is the advantage of using the values method so let me jump back to presentation so I showed you like we can define an enum in two ways one we can define inside the class and we can define outside the class and now we have another sentence telling here we can initialize our values to the enum so let me uh, show you like how we can initialize our values to the enum it's very simple so let me jump back to eclipse and your I have these weeks right so what I do is uh, let me initialize the values to them and let me show you how to do it first so so your is my collection so what I'll do is uh, to Sunday I'm going to tell it as 0 and to this I'm going to tell it as 1 and to this 
what I'll do is I'll specify it as 2 into this I'll specify it as 3 so what I'll do is I'll just cut this enum right now here and I'll paste it inside the class so right now what I have done is uh, the constructor print week is undefined uh, why is this error we are getting right now so the problem here is uh, okay now what I'll do is I'll initialize print int or okay I need to initialize the values to them so this is not the right way to do it first I'll erase them so to assign values to them I can't directly do that I need to I need to create a constructor with the help of constructor we can assign the values to them so what I'll do right now is uh, let me create one variable private int value and then what I'll do is uh, I'll create a constructor of private type then it is weak so this is the constructor so I'll tell like this dot value is equal to um, I can tell like this is sample weak can tell like this I'll copy this and I'll paste it here okay and this dot value is equal to sam weak or it is our value okay now the, okay the problem here is first we need to initialize the things so let it be like this so I need to initialize a variable okay uh, called sample so this dot value is equal to sample this dot sam week is equal to sample this one so now what I can do is now I can assign the values to them 0 so you can observe here now as soon as I add the values the red squiggly is disappearing so by default the constructor the private constructor which takes parameters adds the values to it okay so this is what the advantage this is what like how we can initialize the values to the enum okay now what I need to do is uh, I already am having this piece of code again here mm, so what I'll do is s is equal to s plus okay I need to print the values also in the sense I should tell like this dot values or it's just a value I guess so we are getting the error right now so what I need to tell here is actually let me remove this ok this is what I need to print so now when I run this piece of code you can observe here Sunday is 0 so let me give a space Sunday is 0, Monday is 1, Tuesday is 2 and Wednesday is 5 so let me change it to 20 the value of uh, Tuesday now the same thing is printed here again so this is how you can initialize our values to the enum so first you have to create a constructor private constructor and you have to have a variable and you have to tell like you have to initialize before another variable here and this is going to assign the values to each of the constant present here so this dot sam week is equal to sample okay and I'm assigning the values to each constant here so this is how we, we can initialize a values to the enum constant I hope you understood this one so now let me jump back to presentation and here you can observe another statement like we can use enum in switch statement so let me show you like how can we use uh, enum in a switch statement so what I'll do let me jump back here so I have a uh, class here so what I'll do just here is I hope this is not necessary and this is also not necessary let me initialize let me remove these things too yes this is also not necessary so right now I have a enum inside my class so enum name is weak okay and I have a main method so in the main method what I'll do is I'll tell like weak w is equal to weak 
dot Sunday. This is what I'm trying to do. Now what I'll do is I'll pass this W to switch and in switch I'll write multiple cases. So switch so to the switch what I need to do is I need to pass this W. So now I have a curly braces here to the switch. So I'll specify case as Sunday okay and I need to end up that with a semicolon next I'll tell you like system dot out dot print ln so here I need to tell what it does to print if the case is Sunday it has to print this one this value then I need to add a break if the case matches it has to come out of the loop so I need to add a break here similarly what I'll do is I'll just copy this and I'll paste it and I'll do it for Monday and it is Tuesday so just I need to change it here also and year 2 it is Monday I'll just copy and paste it just to save the time so now what I'm telling to my variable I'm telling like it's Sunday so the, now when I run that which case is executing this case is executing suppose if I change the value year to okay dot uh, Tuesday again when I run the application it will match this case and it will get executed suppose what I'll do here is I need to call a default also default dot invalid input I have to tell like if something I I enter which is not valid so now what I'll do is um, uh, I'll tell like other okay now what I'll do is I've not written the case to Wednesday so let me call that So now when I run this application you can observe here other weekday because I'm not written the case so it executes the default thing of the switch case. So this is how you can use the enum with the switch also. So that's what we understood in this session like how to create a enum, how to initialize values to the enum and how to work enum with the switch statement and finally I have some key points to remember in Java enum that is it improves the type safety one thing and as we saw right now we can use enum in switch very easily and it can have fields constructors and methods too that I'm not shown right now so and it can be traversed as we saw like enum is a collection and it can be traversed with a for loop and it can implement interface but it cannot extend the class in the sense you can implement an interface to a enum but you cannot inherit a class to it that is the specialty of enum so I hope you understood what enum is so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Langport Training and also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter further reference ref our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day